today I have another speed paint for you in the alphabetical series inspired with, by Drawing with Waffles. And for the letter B, we have Assistant Mayor Bellwether from Zootopia. Now before I get too into this, I do need to note that this voiceover may contain spoilers. If it does, I'll put a little note on the bottom so you can mute it for the spoilers. Although, really, you should just go and watch Zootopia because it's a super great movie and I would really recommend it. But anyways... Drawing Bellwether was not as difficult as I imagined. I think part of that is because I was more prepared for her than I was for Ariel. I actually went through and doodled a buttload of sketches of Bellwether to work out how she looks, and she's a lot more triangular than I remembered her being. Like, I was trying to draw her very round and fluffy, but she's actually just a couple of triangles, like, stacked on top of each other. My original pose for this was a lot different than what I ended up doing. I had this idea of her standing in Lionheart shadow with a sort of like face down perspective going on. You can see thumbnails of it when I switched to the reference page. I ditched that idea partially because I wanted to show off her design more and also partially because it was just a really difficult design to draw, like I cannot do a bird's eye view. But I wanted to show off her as a character more than her storyline, I guess. So, as you can see, she's got her assistant, world's best assistant mayor, mug, as well as a little flower. I think I like Bellwether as a character partially because she's cute and fluffy, and to be honest, I'm weak for any character who's cute and fluffy, but also because I think she as a character played well off of Judy. Judy in the film, her main motivation is to better her life as a prey, and she does this by working hard on achieving her goals and proving herself, whereas Bellwether has the same general motivation, but her method is more towards demonizing the people who she feels belittle her, belittles her, and puts her down, and I think this works well to put across the movie's message of both that you can achieve your dreams, but also that you don't need to destroy others to do it. And I think it was really well how they did it. My only complaint with that is that towards the end of the movie, Bellwether very much flips character to be this very evil, maniacal character. She goes on this whole, oh, I wanted power and that's why I did this speech, which I understand why as a children's movie they'd want to demonize the villain, but it does seem a little flat. But overall, it was still a really great movie, and I do still really love Bellwether as a character. Anyways, back to talking about the actual artwork itself. I think my biggest problem with this picture is how I did her arms. Like, I didn't realize until after I did the line work that her arms were both completely wrong. Like, the one on the left is way too long, and the arm on the right is, like, ridiculously small. I wanted to use perspective as an excuse, but I don't think that really works. To be honest, I was just too lazy to fix it by the time I noticed it and I didn't really care. <laughs> also right here I am doing her, I guess, skin type bit. I had a problem where originally the color I grabbed for this was way too dark, and so I tried to make it a lighter color but then it looked too flesh toned and Belle Weather is a very pink character so I wanted to keep that pinkishness but also not have the ridiculously dark color I did. And now I'm doing her wool, which I actually have a decent amount of practice with coloring wool because I've drawn a fair amount of Santa hats in my day and they have the wool bit there. So this wasn't the biggest struggle of the piece, I'll be honest. Anyways, I think that's about it for what I have to say about this painting. All in all, I like how it turned out and though there's a very fun character to draw, 10 out of 10 would draw again. In other news, I have been doing Inktober and posting it over on my Twitter, so I'll have links for that down below. I might do a sketchbook flip through of it when I'm done. I'm currently trying to work on a better camera setup for my sketchbook flip throughs because I'd like to do more traditional work in general. My main problem is that all I have to work with right now is a phone camera and a cheap selfie stick. So I'm working on getting a tripod or something similar. Um, so you'll see, like, in the future, if you see any traditional art videos, that means I've succeeded, and if not, that means I'm still struggling. But that's pretty much all I have to say right now. So thanks for watching, and hope to see you next time. Bye!